Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Inflection from David Loosely and Alec Azam. Uh, what is Inflection? Uh, basically, it's a switch card routine. Uh, you know the routine where you have two cards and uh, you switch one for the other. It's sometimes called Dr. Daly's Last Trick. Uh, and so what David has done is he's created a really cool gas system that enables the spectator to clearly see the other card right before the transition. You want to see what the trick looks like? This is it. For people that know me will be aware that I love visual card magic. One plot in particular is the two card transposition. There is a moment in there that wasn't quite visual enough for me and that was the change. That is until now. Roughly three years ago I set myself the challenge to create an in the hands workable version of the transposition plot that you could immediately hand out. Not only will you receive two custom-made gimmicks by Rob Bromley, but I will take you through some of my favorite routines. How to get in and out under fire, and also how to do it with a signed playing card. I am Dave Loosley, and this is Inflection. All right, so that was David Loosely and Peter Nardi with Alakazam Magic. Okay, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get a DVD. The DVD is an hour and 27 minutes long, and you're gonna get the necessary card gas to do the trick. Um, you're gonna get two gas so that you could do this with two different cards, two different card reveals, okay? And you're gonna get another gaff card that's really special that'll help you do your kind of like ins and outs, okay? And so uh, really well made, high quality. Uh, let's get into the review. Okay, so is it what I thought? Uh, I figured it would be a gimmick because it says it's a gimmick in the title, uh, but I could never have guessed its construction, okay? I watched the trick uh, in the trailer tons of times, over and over and over again, trying to think like, okay, what am I seeing? And you know, on the one hand, it looks like this, but then you're thinking in your head, it can't be this because it's so small. It's so contained, it's so intimate. Uh, so getting it and then watching the, tr watching the DVD, I was just like, wow. That the gimmick is crazy awesome. Uh, it's really cool. It's, it's just, it just blew me away and I think it's awesome. How are the angles? Um, it can be a little angly. It could be, could be, okay. But I think that's easily worked out through practice and just getting familiar with it. Um, but I don't think you'll be able to pick this up right away and just start doing it tomorrow, okay? Uh, it can be inspected, okay? So I'll say, can it be inspected? Yes. Um, but you have to do some stuff in order to end clean, okay? And that would go hand in hand with your angles, okay? So I think there's some angles getting into it and there's some angles getting out of it. And so if you can read through my vague wording, <laughs> you'll understand. So you can end clean. There's just some cleanup that you have to do and you just kind of have to watch your angles, watch your hand movements, just make them look natural, okay? What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, it's the kind of same setting and style that you've seen in other Alakazam videos. It's, you know, David and Peter Nardi and they're against a green screen, but it looks like a Victorian house or a castle and they're sitting at a desk uh, table. There's a couple of shots where they're standing and doing the trick for each other. Uh, but most it's, mostly it's uh, the two of them sitting at a coffee table talking to you. And there's a few more shots of the table directly where you can see the cards and how they move around. Basically those three shots, but it, you know, it's Alakazam. So it's HD, good mics, good cameras, well shot, good like um, bumpers between the different videos. And so it's well broken down. You're getting a solid hour and 27 minutes, everything you need to know. 
Okay, so how much setup and reset is there? Um, for this trick, you would have to think that, okay, it's obviously a force, all right? So there's, there's setup there, and that means you need a deck stack. And then there's kind of a, what I was trying to hint at earlier, there's kind of a load, okay? And so there's just that, there's, there's getting in and getting out. But I don't think the reset, if you were doing this table hopping from one table to the next, the reset would be really quickly. Like pretty much when you're doing a cleanup at the end of the routine, it's kind of getting you ready for the next one to go into. So it, it, this, your cleanup could be as easy as turning around, you know, going over to the bar real quick and then coming back. Um, I think would be, you'd, be, you'd be good. Positives, what's the positives to inflection? Uh, this takes the classic two card Monty to a whole new level. If, if you already perform Dr. Daly's last trick, you need this. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives to inflection? The negatives would be, and probably this is the only negative that I could come up with, is because it's a two card transposition effect, you know, basically it's Dr. Daly's last trick. Uh, and basically for you younger kids, it's the David Blaine trick where he takes two cards and switches them for Tyra Banks. Yeah, remember that? And he says, whoa, huh? whoa, that, that trick. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Dr. Daly's last trick. You have to do the same two cards, okay? You just have to use the same two cards for the transposition. So, uh, you know, however you want to do that, whether you want to do it with sign cards or, you know, what. Uh, so doing the trick over and over again, like I said, you've only got two gaffes, so there's only four card combinations that you can use. Actually, you know, two pairs of two. So that's your only negative, is that you're kind of limited to those specific cards, okay? But you could use any card backs, okay? And I think that's a positive, I think that should be said. You could use any card backs so long as the faces are standard USPCC standard faces. Is it worth your money? It's $30, $30 bucks, and you're getting over an hour and 27 minutes of DVD and you're getting two incredibly made gaffes and they're made for you and you don't have to do any arts and crafts. Yes, yes, it's totally worth your money. Who would like this? People that like Dr. Dilly's last trick, people that like um, card magic, little intimate pack of tricks, uh, the two card Monty. I mean, it's a great effect, probably a lot of us do that routine and so if you want to add this really kicker like high visual ending this is this is totally great i think you um would definitely like this all right who would like this table hoppers walk around street magicians people that do card magic people that like dr daily's last trick people that collect the two card money transposition effect I, just, I could go on and on and on people that like david loosely i think would love inflection all right so that is inflection from david loosely alakazam magic as always, we want to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for me so that I could review it for you. And if you want to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks. Bye.